What's up, fire signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance. I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with a message for your weekend vibes for the weekend of the 14th through the 16th, guys. The whole time I've been saying that, I thought yesterday was Friday. I ain't gonna lie. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> But at the end of the day, okay, is I'm saying it correctly on y'all. It's the 14th through the 16th of January, 2022. Okay, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button plus the post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Check out the description where you guys can find out where to follow me on my other social media platforms as well as how to book a personal reading with your girl okay and without further ado we're gonna hop right into this reading holy divine spirit angels ancestors and spirit guides to the highest white light please use me as a vessel of clear concise channeled messages for aries leo and sagittarius sun moon rising venus and the north node for the weekend vibe spirit what's coming in for fire signs the queen of cups Straight out the gate, follow your heart, a love for home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So again, um, guys, a lot of your intuition could have been heightened during that new moon that we just passed earlier this week. Um, and we were in residual energy for quite a bit of this week. So you guys could have definitely got a lot of insight as it pertains to your situation. Your intuition is growing. You're unlocking access to more and more deeper levels of your spiritual gifts and insight. Um, closening and deepening your relationship to the most high. Um, your guardian angels, ancestors, and spirit guides that are around you. Okay. Um, this weekend might be a weekend down. Okay, this may be a weekend where you guys are mostly homebound, definitely, or spending time with family, all right? Quite a bit of you can be, like, brushing up on some reading here, whether that's doing research on whatever it is that you're working on or just reading leisurely. Let's see. All right, y'all getting a lot. Because of this essence and energy that you guys are exuding, I'm seeing a lot of success, recognition, notoriety, um, attention coming your way. Okay. It's saying congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move to the next project, awards, scholarships, and promotions. And that could be what you guys are researching here. Okay. So you guys are getting ready to level up when it comes down to whatever it is that you're doing. You could be revamping something with, uh, within something that you already been working on, or you could be working on something completely new. Um, I just get that in 2022, it's not that you guys are giving up on what it is that you're working on, but you're just literally expanding on that. You're testing multiple facets of yourself. You're exploring new talents or other uh, different talents, different facets of yourself, okay? And I do feel like you guys are being recognized and you coming out as the Empress, okay? Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is re rewarded, luxury, or abundant resources, okay? And then we got the page of Ariel here. So you guys are educating yourselves this weekend. I don't know what y'all reading, but whatever it is that you guys have been studying, you're getting ready to implement your plans as it pertains to that. And I see you guys really blossoming and receiving some type of glow up, especially with the Six of Wands and the Empress here. You guys are definitely being respected, and viewed in a high regard, highly exalted. Um, a lot of different people are recognizing you. Again, it's just recognition coming to the forefront. And like I said, some of you guys can be deciding to go back to school or whatever it is that you specifically working on, you deciding to deepen your knowledge when it comes down to that, okay? And Spirit is saying, yes, it's time. You know, you've been planning on doing this for a while, and now it's time for you to make that move, okay? No more procrastination. No more thinking about it. Action is being applied. Pressure is being applied is what I'm hearing, okay? Especially with you guys coming up as the Empress. All right, so let's uh, get the energy for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. So what's coming in for the sign of Aries? The Queen of Cups and the Empress. So you definitely upgrading when it comes down to everything in your life, okay? 
going from the Queen of Cups to the Empress, that's definitely an upgrade. I mean, I do see the Queen of Cups is kind of like a baby divine feminine anyway. So it's like, yeah, oh, okay. So Aries, you guys are passing on some type of temptation. You could have definitely been being tested here is what I'm seeing. And because of that, you guys are being rewarded, okay? I'm seeing you guys really step into some type of fortune here. And it's because you you definitely didn't act on your impulses more than you did on your higher self and higher consciousness, okay? So you guys are definitely passing the test as it pertains to something that may have tempted you recently. And you guys are reaping the rewards from that. Yeah, the three of fire, okay? It could be some travel or movement forward. Your ships are coming in, something that you've been waiting for. Or you guys have just been waiting to move forward. You've been waiting to feel comfortable or get the go from the most high. You know what I'm saying? Feel that uh, inner compass within your heart space that's telling you to move forward. And I feel like you guys are following that. Travel could be on the horizon here for Aries, okay? All right, the six of earth in reverse. Yeah, you guys could have been tempted by somebody that really didn't have anything to offer you, okay? And that could be something that you finally come into realization, but it could have been something that was very hard for you to give up, or it could have been something that was very hard for you to step away from. So somebody that's been tempting you, but they also could have been using you, um, taking from you, you know, whatever the case is, it's like you dropping it. All right, you guys are moving in a more positive direction. You guys could have possibly been um, entertaining other options. Somebody could have definitely fell in love with you here, been showing you a lot of attention, and they want to upgrade y'all relationship status. Somebody could be wanting to propose, wanting to make you their wife, thinking about extending the family here because I do see that family at home and a love of home. Like that's something that's being um, drawing people to you or drawing a specific person in your life to you. But first you had to give up something that wasn't pouring back into you. You know what I'm saying? It could have been somebody that, like I said, was either using you or expecting a lot from you, even though they couldn't give that in return. It was a, a, a not unrequited, but imbalanced. So you was you could have been around somebody that could have been very attractive. You guys could have had ama amazing chemistry on an intimate level. Um, and that could have been what was holding you there. But now you finally realizing that, you know, Whatever it is that you're trying to go to the next level in, you can't do that with this person, you know? And I feel like you're closing out a cycle with this individual. You're balancing out your life. You're going towards what's fair for you, okay? And like I said, again, it might require travel or, you know, and it might be for work. It may be for a new relationship, okay? Because I do feel like you could have been entertaining multiple options or you could have been uh, started to be pulled in a newer direction or just praying to the heavens above that you start to receive better people in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because this doesn't have to necessarily be um, a romantic interest. It can absolutely be people around you like family members and stuff like that. You know that, you know, extending yourself can be something that's hard for you to resist. When people come through asking for favors, asking to use resources of yours, asking for cash all the time, but unable to pay you back, because that's kind of what I'm getting is that you had either a person or people in your life that you finally had to boss up and stand up against and let them know, I'm not going to continue to give to a situation where I'm receiving absolutely nothing in return because I'm depleting myself and I'm draining myself dry energetically, financially, emotionally. When you the queen of cups, you got a lot of love to give. You got a lot of nurturing to give, you know? You make sure that your home is taken care of. You're trustworthy. You focus on your family, you know, and your friends and people around you that you love. And so because of that, it's like time to manifest the same type of people with the same type of mindset of generosity so that what you're giving out can actually be given to you return. And you can be feeling fed and fulfilled and not like you just in something giving away yourself. You get what I'm saying? What else is coming in? For Aries, y'all, you guys got a new beginning that's about to lead to positivity in your life, okay? Great fortune, everything that you can wish for, something that's going to be exciting, adventuring, inspiring. You know, this can be a new project as well. 
You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a new relationship. It could just be you going on a journey by yourself and being very inspired to do so. And because you are finally like following your inner compass to tell you that you no longer want to give of yourself in situations where people cannot give back. You know, and that's not selfish, you guys. You can only be generous in a one-way situation so much before it starts to make you feel like, okay, you know, am I not worthy of receiving? You know, then why am I constantly in situations where people just take of me and take of me? You get what I'm saying? So you're facing that realization and you're getting the confidence to move forward, knowing that you deserve better. Some light has definitely been shed in your life, Aries, okay? Let's get one more for Aries. Y'all, the two of earth. So here's the thing. You've been deciding this for a long time and you finally doing what makes you happy, what fulfills you on an emotional level because I feel like you were feeling emotionally drained. You know, it could have been even actually having you question your worth. You know, you realize that this was actually holding you back. And like I said, you're coming up as the queen of wands. You know, just being very charismatic, creative, beautiful, you know, and something, someone that a lot of people admire, okay? The one, the, the woman that almost everybody wants to be, every woman wants to be and every man wants in their life, okay? This is being single and unencumbered. This is not tying yourself to things that drain you, drain your health. I feel like you guys could be moving, okay? And you're feeling called to do so. Because the situation that you was in before, either you were entertaining somebody that was holding you back from moving forward, stopping your success at the levels that it could have been reached. You know, they, they were a blockage. And the reason why they were a blockage was because you was exemplifying to the universe that you're okay with putting energy out and not giving it back. And you're realizing that now. Like, as much as I want to be a humanitarian, I don't want to be taken advantage of to the point where the universe is mistaking this, this as my wish. Like, I wish to, to not receive anything. I just want to give, 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 and give. And some of you guys could have been doing that for a very, very long time, at least the past six years of your life. You know? And that's give or take, but regardless to what, you know, no matter how long you've been in this energy, you realize that it's not getting you where you need to want, where you need to be in life, and it's not gaining you the results that you want to yield in life, okay? So why is temptation in reverse? Y'all, expectations, I'm telling you. You got you you have raised your expectations when it comes down to what you expect people to bring to the table. And I mean, I ain't trying to bring up that cuz I know that's a controversial uh subject of what can you bring to the table, you know, or whatever the case is, but you have observed over the years that either you keep attracting people that have nothing to bring to the table and expect you to bring everything to the table or you know that you clung on to a situation, you know, for a really long time that you're not receiving from and that is actually manifesting in other areas of your life. You could be putting your energy into a lot of different areas of your life where you feel like you're not yielding the results. And this is the source. And it could have been some type of universal laws. Wow, the emperor is at the bottom of the deck, boo, okay? So you got your fire sign coming in for you. You can either be the empress, uh, aligning yourself with the emperor or vice versa. But somebody is coming into your life and showing you how you really should have been treated all along. But it doesn't matter when it when the realization is reached as long as you're real and, uh, realizing that you are royalty, okay? Well, all of this purple energy, it's a lot of psychic ability, you know, um... A very clean aura, very pure intentions towards others, and becoming in alignment with somebody that has that same energy. Because anything else and everything else has been disturbing your inner peace, okay? Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So you get you get what I'm saying? Like both of you and this individual have really uh 
the same vision and outlook when it comes to life where you and whoever was in your life, they could have been just here to learn a lesson. And maybe their lesson was to learn how to give more and not just take, take, take. Okay, so two people learned a valuable lesson. Now you moving forward. You was in your baby empress hood. Now you graduating because you, you have somebody, you have a counterpart. You have the equal energy that's coming into your life to show you, look, you're worth more. You're not really a queen of cups, you an empress. Stop allowing, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being in the queen of cups energy, but this is a graduation, so to speak. Why is Will of Fortune here? Yeah, I feel like before, your money, your prosperity, it was hard for you to manifest that. Now you're getting yourself on the right path and you're going down the path of prosperity. You guys are getting ready, rid of a karmic energy. It's like you finally listened to the voice of God with that psychic insight that was coming up with the Queen of Cups. You realizing that whoever this is, they're not on the same wavelength. You are on a very high vibrational wavelength. This is somebody that's very low vibrational. This is who you're getting rid of. This is the person that was using and abusing you. This person can feel a sense of guilt. But I feel like it was spirit that came to you to let you know. Like, have faith that it's more, than, it's more out there for you than this type of energy. Somebody that can be jealous of you, an enemy of progress, or just overall low vibrational. And you cannot invite high vi vibrational things into your life when you're still clinging on to low vibrational ones, okay? So, you moving on from this person. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you, change is here. Somebody has swept in and literally saved you. And I don't know if this person was aware of this other masculine energy that was in your life, Aries. But they definitely showing you what stability and efficiency feels like. And you like it a lot better than the instability, the lack of peace, the lack of equal give and take that this individual is sending you. Some of you guys can be leaving this person a Dear John letter or a text message. Breaking up with them over. I don't even feel like the breakup is going to be face to face. It's like somebody is pulling up with a uh, getaway car. Like, I already got your stuff packed in the back, babe. Let's go. And y'all going on a voyage together. Yeah, you realizing this was somebody that wasn't working. This person wasn't willing to put in the effort that you were. And you, like, you, like, handed in your resignation letter to this person. Like, I quit. I quit. I don't want to be with you no more. I'm not emotionally fulfilled. I feel like I stay rubbing nickels together when I'm with you. I feel like I stay perpetuating karmic cycles when I'm with you. I don't want to be with you anymore. Why is the Ace of Fire here? Because you guys got an official person, an emperor coming into your life, period. Somebody that knows how to give. Okay, girl, you getting ready to get somebody generous in your life. And we keep getting eights throughout y'all reading. Prosperity is coming. Okay, but this was a past life cycle that you had to break. Y'all, I'm telling you, you cutting this person off so quick to go towards yo, your golden opportunity is what I'm hearing. Yes, you freeing yourself from something. You might have felt like a prisoner in your own home. You might be telling this person, you can keep the place. I'm gone. Shoot. Why is the two of earth here? Why is the two of earth here? Yeah. Privileged lady in reverse. I'm telling you, you was missing opportunities. You was minimizing your worth to try to fit in with whoever this is that was a temptation in your life. But you realize that it was something inner child about this. Or you guys may have a daughter that's looking up to you. And you feel like I need to show a better example to my daughter of how to be treated than this. Because this ain't it. Why is the nine of cups here? Y'all, I'm telling you, something that something is coming in that's going to yield the results that you want, okay? Like I said, it's something about a graduation. And this dork's energy is not just as it pertains to fertility, but it's like a graduation, a rebirth. 
And again, another eight. You guys got multiple eights. Eight, eight, eight. That's what I should call y'all reading. Prosperity is coming. You guys are being protected. It's y'all ancestors that's stepping in. Definitely not tolerating this energy anymore. And so with this psychic insight coming in, it was like the last resort to try to shake you up, wake you up, and let you see that you were entertaining somebody that wasn't more than a temptation. As much as you wanted to try to transform this into something stable, you could have spent many years uh, devoting yourself to something that wasn't as devoted and committed and ready to work for something as you, okay? So we about to move on to Leo. Okay, let's get the energy for Leo, the sign of Leo, as it pertains to this spread. What energy is coming in for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. It's coming in for Leo. The Fool. I'm telling you. The Six of Fire. Listen, fire signs, you guys really are at uh, Empress status because you guys are blowing up. I mean, this is the Six of Wands twice right up underneath each other. All right, so you guys are getting double the attention than you're, you're used to, but it's because you literally came to the edge and took a chance on something here. Okay, you heard the call, the trumpets were blaring, and you finally awakened to what it is that you were meant to do, meant to be. Okay? All right, we getting a world card. Something is ending for you here. This is a completion. You guys could be on cloud nine right now with all of the success that you're receiving here it could have been something that you invested in that's truly truly growing out and you could be thankful that you took this leap of faith here you could have took extensive measures to stay like grounded oh yes you had to stay grounded because you definitely got some people that's jealous of the attention that you get in leo Okay, this person may want to approach you kind of abruptly. This person can be in full energy, okay? But you could be moving away from whoever this is, receiving a lot of attention outside of whoever this is. This person is wanting to communicate something about practicality. You know what I'm saying? Rather, it's that they want to join in or whatever, but this person is difficult to trust because somebody here is showing up as competition, somebody that's like very dramatic and... You know, this person is more competition than they are a friend. That's what I will say. All right? So, I don't know if it's because you're receiving a lot of attention that this person feels like they have competition, which could be other people outside of you, or if this person is trying to compete with you. But whatever the case is, you know, this could be somebody you already closed a cycle with. This person could be upset about that. All right, you got a very fairy like energy. Yeah, you you stepping away and avoiding anybody with the mind games energy. Whoever this is, they kind of low vibrational because we get multiple fives and it ain't no high vibrational meanings connected to the fives in the in tarot. Okay, whoever this is. They might have been trying to block you. They thought that you was never gonna heal from this. They thought they was gonna keep you at a low level. This person have a page mentality. Yeah, they are narcissists, okay? Narcissists are created, not born, okay? So whoever this is, it's like, it could be something that's connected to their childhood that definitely um, has them in this energy where they feel like they have to win at all costs, but this person is realizing that they can't. Now they may be wanting to offer you an apology, but in reality, it's like they they are nervous about stepping to you. You know what I'm saying? They're nervous about stepping to you because they know in the past that they tried to put you in a in an energy where you couldn't heal, where you couldn't heal and raise your vibration to be in alignment with what it is that you truly want. This person was basically backbiting and backbiting and blocking you, okay? And for whatever reason, narcissists feel the need to control. This person may have wanted you to be unstable. They may have wanted you to lose your foundation. But this person could have instead, 
And now this person is realizing that they shouldn't have been playing these types of games. They could be very nervous about the outcome of things in their life. I feel like spirit has trying to, been trying to communicate with this person. This person been surrounded by messengers, okay? Surrounded by messengers in any way that they've been receiving it. It's been... It's been higher dimensional messengers because I feel like at some point this person definitely was in a darker energy where it was darker energies communicating to this individual to do the things that they was doing. And it's because this person is unhealed that they wanted you to be unhealed, okay? It's because this person feel like it's no movement in their life forward because they can't cultivate more than a page of pinnacles energy. You know, and you could have been creating and manifesting empresshood. I mean, you guys are, again, you guys are receiving some type of praise. You're receiving some type of graduation. You're receiving some type of elevation. And in this, in this reading specifically, it's somebody that does not like that. They don't like that. You know, and they may be coming in acting like they sorry for the mind games they play. They may even be truly sorry. Maybe their higher self is, is apologetic and remorseful. But if this person hasn't done the shadow work and they still in a shadow energy, then it's still something very much about them that is making them want to compete. Whether that's with you or for you. Okay. So why is the fool here? I mean, I feel like this person, after many messages from the divine, they could be getting ready to approach you. Yeah. And you, this is unexpected. This person could have actually experienced an unexpected change in their life that's pushing them towards you. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it could be a home. They could have lost their, their footing, but that's because that's the energy that they put out towards you. I feel like this person has been plagued. Like, spirit literally won't allow this person to stop thinking about you until they come forth. And I don't know. I feel like it's to offer an apology about how they treated you before. Why is the world card here? Mm, the worldwide web. So this person was doing something over the internet and they had other people joining in. Let's see what else. False person, false fake accounts. This person either had people helping them do something online. I don't know what the heck they were trying to do. But this is something about the World Wide Web. This person could have actually thought you was false. And they could have been doing stuff like background checks, Googling you. Or this person could have just been cyber bullying you. Okay? And like I said, they could have had many people helping them. Or they could have been presenting themselves with many faces through different accounts. Just so that they could be throwing you off their trail. So that you wouldn't know it was them trying to sabotage you. But they sabotage did not work. Why is the world card here one more time? Yeah. This person might have been meant to step into some type of divine masculine energy. And I feel like that's this energy here. With the nine of swords, this person has been getting... Um, has been getting messages through the dream state, just messages all around them, messages that nature has been bringing to them, synchronicity, signs, songs on the radio. It seemed like spirit been trying to get through to this person. And honestly, some of it I feel like they ignoring because this person is too nervous to step into their true title. Okay. And it's because you are, it's because you are without fear that this person is intimidated by you. Okay, so why is the messenger of earth here? Yeah, I'm telling you, they tried to stop you from going the distance. They, they tried to block relationships for you. They didn't want you to have anything long term. They didn't want you to have lovers. They didn't want you to have opportunities, choices, and they're being judged. It's like now the same energies that they were sending towards you, they have to fight off. Five of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> they was trying to end things in your life and it just came back on them. It backfired. They was trying to put you in poverty. This person could have been trying. I don't know. I would just simplify it to this person was trying to end things in your life. But I don't like when the coffin shows up. Okay, I don't. 
But at the end of the day, it's like, whatever, if this person was able to succeed when it comes down to taking anything from you, that those things are being returned to you. But I feel like instead it's being returned to them. They're being heavily scrutinized by the universe. Every little thing that they do is a blockage there. Everything that they want to do, but they, it was because this person was relentless when it came down to blocking you. And being very psychologically, attacking your psychological state. Why is the five of air in reverse? telling you you was protected from this you being pushed forward away from this individual given a new opportunity you have rebalanced your energy from whatever this person is doing but now this person is trapped now this person is trapped and they don't want to be cut out of your life they nervous about being cut out of your life but this is a situation where you can't afford to go through something like what this person put you through twice it's not about being bitter. Sometimes you just don't want to have to wonder if somebody is going to revert back to their old ways, allow their shadow energy to come back up and do the same thing that they did to you twice. Sometimes looking at somebody in general just causes too much drama and flashbacks that you don't want to relive. And it's just time to start a new cycle. You know what I'm saying? Moving on, don't moving on or wanting to move on from negativity and people that have caused so much destruction in your life is not better. It's wanting better for yourself. You know, nobody wants to encounter this type of energy more than one time in one lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And and that's regardless to whether this person has changed, just like good for you. That was for you and your life. Now I'm glad that moving forward. You have an example of, number one, what can happen to you if you just prey on innocent individuals just because you're insecure within yourself. Number two, you're going to realize that that's going to repel good people in your life rather than wanting them to be around you, okay? Number three, the next time this energy presents itself as a gift in your life, know how to deal with it instead of self-sabotaging an opportunity to have a great person in your life, okay? Don't be a sore loser. I'm just hearing, Leo, that you used to have a habit of of, uh, of giving people the benefit of the doubt. Now you don't put nothing past people. And I'm not trying to say that, you know, maybe that's not 100% the right way to be. But at the same time, you have a right to want to protect yourself from those that have really showed you their true hand and how low they can go. And that's just the bottom line. Some people just don't want to go through a cycle and take a chance on people that have been this malicious, this nefarious in their life. Okay? And be okay with that. Okay? Because there's a lot of people that's going to tell you otherwise. But at the end of the day, this is your life. This is your experience. And if you don't even want to take a chance on experiencing the same thing twice, then follow your heart. Okay? Which I feel like you are going to do moving forward. Because you've been getting trustworthy psychic information all right so let's get the energy for sagittarius okay holy spirit angels ancestors and spirit guides so what's coming in for the sign of sagittarius sun moon rising venus and the north node Okay, the seven of wands, y'all. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, you have people trying to block you too. People trying to protest you evolving and you are getting the recognition that you deserve now. You might, uh, they might have, somebody was trying to throw you off balance. Okay, with the temperance in reverse, you could have been starting to lose your patience, become very defensive in your energy, feel like, you know, um, your manifestations were just being rejected by the universe, but you didn't realize that a cup was coming in. You could have just been focused on the three of cups, focused on a particular friend group or, you know, people that used to be your friend or somebody that put you in a third party situation. But you didn't realize this beautiful ace that spirit had coming in for you. But you have grown impatient and complacent when it comes down to certain things and even defensive. Like you might be feeling like everybody is a wolf in sheep's clothing at this point even if they're not but that's because you faced a lot of individuals that have put you in that energy you guys may have had to uh work on some rejection wounds you know because maybe in your subconscious mind you still felt a sense of rejection from like childhood so this 
you could have been having to face your triggers and face your shadows, okay? And balance yourself out and heal. What else is coming in? Yeah, but somebody definitely wanted to place burdens and pressure on you, block you, protest your growth, make you step out of character. Yeah, because you, because somebody was uh, the devil and you are the temperance, it's like they tried to put you in a temperance and reverse energy. They tried to put you in an energy where... You know, you was losing your temper because of how much this person was blocking you. It's like they wanted the resistance that they was causing to make you frustrated and put you in a vibration where you are looking at yourself as a reject. And so if you're looking at yourself as a reject subconsciously, that's what you're attracting is rejection over and over and over again. And you freeing yourself from that. You no longer codependent on how this person makes you feel or the validation of others. And because you're not codependent on on who validates you and who um sees how who who does versus who doesn't see how great you are it's coming in effortlessly for you where it could have been something that you had to fight real hard for in the past okay i do feel like you still got to encounter whoever this individual is for whatever reason and it's because you guys the the cycle is not fully complete i mean you guys are at a ten of wands but i feel like in order for you to clear out this baggage um, there may be face-to-face -face contact that's needed, or you may just need to, you know, realize that this is the completion, but you still might have something to do with this person, learn from this person, hear from this person before you completely close out the chapter. But I do see you guys, y'all money is looking good this weekend. Okay. You guys are feeling independent, feeling like you got more than enough. Um, you guys might actually go shopping or do something for yourself. Like get y'all hair done. I'm seeing somebody buy some new boots this weekend. Some cute boots too. <sighs> But you doing stuff to help yourself feel good again. You recognizing your extraordinary energy and how everybody is not, you not for everybody. So it's okay if a lot of people reject you, understand that that's protection and spirit was showing you that that person is not meant to be a part of your soul tribe or a part of your growth or anything. Yeah, this person didn't want you to get what you wanted because they see that you are a trophy, that you are like the golden ticket and you're not allowing this person. Yeah, because you ended it with them. Because you ended it with them, they wanted to end things in your life as well. So we got a lot of people that sore losers towards the um, fire signs. Aries didn't get that energy, even though they resist in temptation with that karmic masculine. I'm seeing that that part, I don't see that person trying to block them. Why is temperance in reverse here? Imprisonment. Yeah, this person wanted you to be trapped in an imbalanced state. Feeling like your ships would never come in, okay? Damn, for some of y'all, that's good. this could be your mom. It's your mom and a male, or it's an older woman and a masculine energy. Or you first could have felt rejected by your mom, and then this masculine energy triggered that same childhood wound within you. But I'm feeling like you got two agents in your life. One is a male that, that wants romantic romance with you, and I feel like you cut things off because this person is a saboteur. They cause too many burdens in your life. And you finally decided to make a change and move away from whoever this is. And because of that, they tried to protest any new beginnings that you try to implement in your life. This person is abusive. They're abusive. They're toxic. They're controlling. They're possessive. So a lot of you guys are freeing yourselves from an abusive relationship. Y'all, yeah, I'm telling you, this person is being ex exposed for who they are. More and more people are seeing who they are and abandoning them. And blockages are being lifted in your life. Yeah, it, you could have been feeling blocked and rejected because this person could have been um, basically painting you in a negative light. And now that people seeing them for their true colors, they can't even deny it anymore that this person was just lying on you. Y'all, yeah? and this person is being cut off left and right. You ain't the only one. They experiencing so many energy from their vile energy. They experiencing so much rejection from their vile energy. Everybody is realizing that this person is not a good person to be around. Nine of Pentacles. And you guys have set yourself free 
And you guys are basking in growth and blossoming because of it. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Expectations. Yeah, you guys raise the bar when it comes down to what it is that you'll accept and what you won't. And again, some of you guys can be moving house. Y'all can be upgrading where y'all moving to. Yeah, because I'm telling y'all, y'all see the truth and y'all expose the truth. Y'all might have exposed this person for who they really are. Y'all might have had receipts. And you guys are going to be taken off the market soon. Okay? So because you made energetic space by clearing this person out, you know, even if you had to cut off multiple people, some of y'all might have either had to cut off y'all mamas. Okay? Or if you didn't, then like I said, it was, you know, you healing things with, you know, people in your life that have contributed to inner childhood wounds. So that you can heal your root chakra. And because of that, it's like you guys have great things coming into your life. But somebody is definitely coming around that sees you as wife material. Okay? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.